thanks for having us here at Geras. It's really exciting. Uh, our talk today is called uh, Fostering Collaboration, uh, Breaking Down Workflow Barriers. And um, just to set some context about what Stencilla is, um, we are an open source platform for executable document pipelines. And what this means is uh, we try to build the tools that uh, help people to write, collaborate, and publish reproducible articles. Um, and, you know, the, the, these problems for the workflow collaboration are very tricky you know you have the people problems and you have tech problems and there's a, a very diverse um kind of you know um preferences between uh, authors and scientists and researchers and then there are um these tools that try to come and say okay here's this one very prescribed workflow that you all must follow uh to if you want to all kind of have a productive environment and we're we're trying to straddle the line between the two, and uh, you know it's you can't really solve people problems with uh, tech solutions. So we're trying to make adaptive tools that can accommodate the diversity that uh, exists within the field, and um, try to uh, kind of almost remove the friction uh, for for the people who are trying to work together. And so what this means is we're trying to uh, build tools that can uh, be cross, um, uh, I guess, workflow agnostic, um, and also try to bridge the gaps between the tech literacy of the, the people who are working together. Uh, as everyone knows, uh, trying to you know, set up uh, software environments, trying to make things reproducible, versioning, it, it's a nightmare even when you have the necessary skills. Uh, but it's, it might as well be impossible when, when you're trying to just, uh, you know, uh, provide feedback on some methodologies or some, some text. And so next I'll go into the demo of, uh, of one of the articles that was recently pub published uh, in collaboration with eLife, which is an interactive meta-analysis of MRI biomarkers uh, of uh, myelin by Matteo Mantini and Paul. And um, you, if you, go, I'll share the links to the slides uh, in a bit, but uh, this, you can find this article uh, in an executable way on eLife's website. But I have um, taken uh, this project that uh, Mateo has uh, kindly shared on Git, uh, GitHub, and you can see that it's a Jupyter Notebook uh, project. And if you see um, the document, um, you can see the, the text and the code snippets and all this. And I've imported this project inside uh, my Stencilla Hub, uh, which is the, the, the platform that we, we use to collaborate on. And you can see the same very files are here. The Python notebook is here. Um, I don't really know too much about Myelin, so I threw in a, a CSV file I found on Zenodo about some uh, cats. So we've got that imported here. And uh, lastly, just to save some time, I uh, prepared this in uh, advance, but the, the, the key uh, thing that we allow people to do is to convert uh, files to different formats. And we have a wide array of uh, file formats that we support. And so I, I went ahead and I converted to Google Docs. And so you can see what that looks like um, in Google Docs. If I open this up, you can see that the same Jupyter Notebook that was uh, in the Matthias GitHub has been imported. Uh, but what's really uh, interesting is that the code uh, elements were executed and the output captured and inserted into the document. And um, what we've been doing is we've been working on an additional sidebar that allows you to see all the code elements. You can go in and you can see the, you know, the source code that was used to produce it. And uh, what's more, you can also then go in uh, you can go in and you can run code inside your Google documents. So to go, to go back about workflow um, barriers, a, a researcher who just wants to collaborate on the pros or an editor who wants to review this document can come in on this Google document and um, they can put in, you know, they can add things like a title, they can style some of the basic elements, um, they, uh, and they can even leave comments, which are a really great way of uh, uh, collab. 
collaborating <laughs> with people. And um, someone who wants to actually uh, contribute with some code, they can come here and they can actually uh, run, uh, run some uh, um, code. Uh, and they can even you know, analyze it, they can iterate on it, they can see what's happening with the data set. So these are the cats that I imported. And uh, they can insert this into the document as well. So if I go here and I insert this, we see we generate the table and then it gets inserted into the document. So this is a really way, good way of going to the place where people are already working and collaborating and uh, removing you know, the, the, the concerns that come with being in unfamiliar territory. And um, to just wrap things up, um, the final kind of, uh, you know, to get this out there to people, what we allowed you to do is you can come to the Stencil Hub and go uh, from your Google Doc uh, that we just edited. So I'll pull this down again. And uh, what this is doing is uh, we version all the documents and project sources that you have so that your project stays and change it from, uh, uh, from under your feet. And so uh, you have, we manually pulled down the latest changes I made to the document. And uh, we should be able to now uh, publish that as, um, as an HTML document, uh, document or an article that we can share. So once uh, we create a snapshot of all the project files, they'll be uh, uh, versioned and saved in the project. And um, and they'll be published um, that you can share with anyone else. Um, and this is how we've been working with eLife, uh, who are being very gracious. Oh. Right? Am I over time? No. Sorry. You still have and, a couple of minutes. Okay. No, that was some other <laughs> background noise. You still got about three minutes. OK. So um, once this is finishing, so it's a pretty big project that we're downloading with all the data files. You can see that um, uh, we have the document in here and uh, the reproducible elements are also in here. So we can go in, you can see the source code and you can interact with it. And this kind of ability to go across the different technologies, different programming languages is I think what uh, we are really trying to enable people to work in a fluid way and break down those uh, tech, uh, you know, friction points that can crop up when, when you're trying to collaborate. So, um, so yeah, the, that is uh, Stencil Hub. Uh, we're still in really early uh, beta, but we have published several articles with eLife that you can take a look and click around, explore. Um, we are really, really keen on feedback. So please sign up, tell us how we can do better and uh, what's missing. And um, when, you, when you're trying to collaborate on uh, esoteric files and go across formats, just rem remember about us. And so yeah, thank you so much. <laughs>